Gorsham joins us now for this week's Speaking Legal Discussion. Thanks for coming in. It's great to see you. I'm glad to be here. Are you, yes. sleeping, are you sleeping good? Yeah, sleeping yeah. good. Okay, right. good. Everything and do you have any good. big holiday plans? You getting ready for the holidays? You know, my whole family is from here, so we stay home. And oh, that is so convenient. Yeah, you don't have to go anywhere. anywhere. We're within like five minutes of each other. That's it's really nice. nice. Does everybody oh, that's perfect. bring a food item so that nobody has to cook the whole meal? You know, my, my mom and my mother-in-law both love to cook, so it's usually all taken care of. Now, I'm going to get the smoker out, and we're going to do some. Oh, yeah, you're, you're good at yeah, that. Yeah, we're going to do some beef loins and some pork loins probably. For sounds good. Oh, that sounds so good. You can bring some leftovers hungry. to us. Yeah, okay. okay. So there really won't be any. Oh, I bet there won't we'll be. We'll see what yeah. we can do. All right, are you ready for the question? Yeah, let's All do All right. It. Last year, I gave my boyfriend a very expensive gift for Christmas. He broke up with me soon after. I asked him to give it back, but he never responded. Is there anything I can do to get my money back? <laughs> okay, can I ask this? Got, I'm not a legal. We've got answers from the lawyer. gallery. <laughs> yeah, everybody's answering. We feel like we have the answers, but I wonder if we do. Yeah, well, I mean, honestly, yeah, you probably do. A gift is a gift, and if a gift mm -hmm. is a gift, then that means you're not going to take it back. Right. right. And so if you've met the conditions of, of an actual gift, no, you're not going to be able to get it back. And there's, there's three criteria it takes for there to be a gift. The mm -hmm. first is the donor has to have the intent to make a gift. Mm -hmm. So it has to be intended as a gift. It has to be delivered to the to the donee, okay. the receiver, and then the donee has to accept that gift. Right. So if those, which you're like, well, that makes sense. But yeah, yes. it's, right. but it's amazing in the law where you get the splitting hairs mm -hmm. sometimes. If one of these three things is not shown to be true, then it wouldn't be considered a gift, and then you have to go through a whole other But analysis. how do you yeah. get the proof? Yeah, yeah that's how the do you thing. Get the proof? Well, what if there's just two people in the room, mm -hmm. it's he said, she said? Yeah. Right. That's the, what happens in a lot of cases, and mm -hmm. that's when a finder of fact has to decide what the facts are, and they will judge credibility of the witnesses if they have to do that. So testimony, mm -hmm. live testimony, is evidence, and sometimes people don't think that. They're, well, I can't prove it. It's just my word. Your word is evidence, and if believed, then that becomes the facts of the case. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you don't have a proof if it is a gift. Mm -hmm. But if it's not a gift, you might have proof. Yeah, you might be able to get it back. And a lot of times, sometimes you get this argument over a check. Somebody's written a check. Well, if mm -hmm. the memo line says loan, then that's, that's pretty proof. good evidence yeah. mm -hmm. that it wasn't a gift, it wasn't a loan. You know where this situation comes up all the time? Hmm. Engagement. <gasps> oh. oh. Engage, broken engagements. The engagement yeah. ring? The engagement ring. Right. Yeah. That's right. And so there's uh, bodies, there's a vast bodies of law over this and argument and nobody really agrees. There's no settled law on whether an engagement ring is a returnable gift. Right. Well, from what you said earlier, though, it's a person gave the mm -hmm. gift. They accepted right. that. She that says would, exactly. You would think. But then some courts have said, well, there are such things as conditional gifts. That is the, the condition of this. This is not a completed right. gift unless and until the marriage takes oh, place. Makes sense. And wow. so some courts have said in that situation, then, since the condition of the gift was not met, right. then it's not a completed gift and it has to be returned. And the sad thing is, is on an engagement ring, you're not going to get the money that you paid for it. Well, probably no, not. No, they don't. Uh, wow. That's now, not there's, it goes even beyond that, though. There mm -hmm. are other courts that have looked into, well, why did the marriage not take place? <laughs> and so then they'll say, well, if the donor called it off, then it's their fault mm. that the condition oh, yes, failed, right. and therefore that the, the donee or the bride should get to keep the ring. But if she calls it off, if then she he calls might it have a claim to get it back. Then he might actually have a very good claim to get it back. And See, then you've got all kinds of other, well, what oh if he gosh. called it off because he caught her oh, cheating? Oh, my right. God. It just goes on and on. It goes on and on. My it? brain hurts, Will. <laughs> yeah. Think about all these possible solutions. This is fun. Isn't this fun to think oh through? Oh, my God. What would happen? So you does lawyers. Does really go to court oh, a lot? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, well, I don't know about a lot, but, yeah. but you can look up the appellate case law to where, you know, a lower court decided and it was appealed and, it was, and then a higher court made a ruling and yeah there's and can I just ask this will though you can ask by the form of her question did, did she just not admit that she gave it to him though well I so would that be yeah. evidence no I think that she did I think yeah. here it was a gift I mean if we're gonna use the word yeah I, I made a gift then it's pretty clear it was probably a gift right. obviously it was it was a Christmas gift then yeah. that would lend even more evidence it was a gift she's so probably just, She's bitter. She's bitter, and well, she's just she's hoping. Up, she's that, just upset because it didn't yeah. last. I don't know. We're not going to read anything into the question. Yeah, but, I'm just saying. Uh, but you can certainly <laughs> My opinion will. You can certainly understand somebody <laughs> receiving an expensive gift well, and yeah. then breaking things off and saying, I'm keeping it. It's kind right. of 
dirty pool. Yeah, yeah it no, is. it is. I agree. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Will. Oh, All right. Gosh. Well, there you well that have kind it. of answered our question then, Tig. Kind There's so many different loopholes. I, I tell you, the law is a tricky thing. It is it tricky. Can be. Now, it if you need be. to know what the law is, you got to call this guy. If you have a legal mm -hmm. question for Will, you can email him at wwarsham at colorton.com, and he will answer your question on the show. Thanks yes. so much. Thanks, Will. It was great to see Get you. Get some sleep. All right, we'll be back after this. Outdoor properties, specializing in river properties.